all. Myself, Sri Lakshmi Ayn of Class 7A from RSCS Vipin. Today, I am going to give a review on one of my favorite books that I read from Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This book is the beginning of a fantastic journey of the legendary wizard in the wizarding world, Harry Potter. The story starts from a regular street where few strange people were standing and one of them gently lays baby Harry with a lightning scar on his head onto the doorstep of his only relatives, the non-magical Dursleys. As time goes, little Harry grows with the Dursleys where he was not treated more than a servant. He was forbidden to ask anything about his family or past. The only thing he knew was that his parents died in a car crash and during that accident, Harry got his car. After 10 miserable years with the Dursleys, Harry gets a letter in which he has got a seat in Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. But this opportunity was snatched from him by his uncle Vernon Dursley. Not until when a great beetle-eyed giant man called as Rubius Hagrid, the keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts, burst in on Harry's 11th birthday with some interesting news that Harry Potter is belonged to the magical world and he will be learning at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry under the guidance of the greatest headmaster Hogwarts has ever had, Albus Dumbledore. This is where the adventure begins. Harry leaves the Dursleys and with Hagrid, he starts his journey to Hogwarts. During his journey, he gets to know that his parents, James Potter and Lily Potter, were killed by a dark power known as Lord Voldemort. And by some kind of miracle, he was able to defeat the Dark Lord at the age of a year and three months. Because of which he was so famous at the Wizarding World. Now Harry gets to King Cross Station and then to platform 9 and 3 quarters which is hidden by magic. From here he starts his journey to Hogwarts through Hogwarts Express where he meets his new best friends, Ron Weasley, a loyal, kind and funny boy, and Hermione Granger, a kind, smart and bright girl. Both these characters play an important role in the whole series and stands with Harry in his ups and downs. Later at Hogwarts, Harry and his best friends were sorted into Gryffindor, the place for courageous and brave ones among Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin houses. Harry Potter easily gets friendly with Hogwarts, but he had his own enemies too. Drago Malfoy, a grey-eyed boy from Slytherin house, was one of them. But Harry never gave much importance to him. In a Christmas morning, Harry gets an unaddressed gift which holds up an invisibility clock which was belonged to his dad. Using the clock, Harry and his friends started roaming around the school, uh, castle and find out that, some, that something is hidden in Hogwarts castle which is really valuable and guarded with powerful spells and sees a chance of falling into the hands of dark power. They also doubt Severus Snape, the potions master who greatly disliked Harry. From here, the serious part of the story begins. The trio risks their lives to safeguard the valuable Philosopher's Stone which can make the drinker immortal and can transform any kind of metal into gold. The story from here tells us about how they face the dark power, who is that evil and is that person any of Harry's enemies at school and how will the trio overcome the powerful protective spells. This part puzzles the reader's mind. This book is a great addiction to both young and old and is the perfect suggestion to all those fantasy lovers. This book was later taken as a film but I recommend the book to read as it contains more details in its text 
and can provide the same experience given in a film because it took me to a completely magical world. Thank you.